I'm going to do. I'll read a few advertisements here, and uh, when I'm done stuttering over these the, the live reads, I got to talk to you about like during this time of the year in London, um, a bunch of uh, Arabs come in to vacation who have like tons, like basically as far as I could tell, limitless amounts of money. And they're coming in from the Middle East because it's just so fucking hot. So they they holiday, as they say out here, in London. And they fly in on a cargo plane all of their supercars. I, I The only reason why I found this out is because I've, you know, I've never seen it. I was like, is there a car show here or something like that? And they would, then I just started asking around. I mean, just one fucking Lamborghini, one Ferrari, crazy Mercedes. Ah, fuck it. You know what? Fuck the advertising. I got to tell you about this shit. Like, I've never seen anything like it. It was like for Ferrari Californias, the, the Spiders, the, the, uh, and then all these crazy colors. Like, there's one fucking dude over there. Look, first, let, let me just read about how they get their shit there, if I can find it. Oh, you stupid cunt, Bill. Did you really just mess that up? Hang on, I gotta hit pause. I don't wanna fuck this up. Oh, no, I have it. I have it here. Okay, here it is. Um, so, you know, all these, these uh, people at the hotel were saying, no, these, these people come in, they fly their cars in and all that, and I was just like, Jesus, they fly their fucking car, like, ship them in or whatever by boat? Like, how much would that cost? So it says, uh, you know, it's a website here. Revealed how Arab playboys fly their supercars into London on chartered uh, cargo jets for the trifling sum of 20,000 pounds per vehicle. Um, 20 quid, whatever the fuck they say. Cars are flown distances of around 3,000 miles in planes such as Qatar Airways, Airbus, A330s, Lamborghinis, Ferraris, McLarens, among vehicles spotted recently in Knightsbridge area, which is the really ritzy area, or posh, as they say. Um, and the owners are usually here only for a couple of weeks. <laughs> Dude, this is like a level of fucking wealth that, you know, I, I haven't seen it. I'm not saying that, you know, it doesn't go on in my country, but this, this it was fucking jaw-dropping. So basically... I'll send the link for this thing. I mean, these guys do not fuck around. These are just some of the sickest rides ever. And then what I love is there's this one guy. Yeah, here's a Lamborghini. There's a yellow one. There's a gray one. I don't even know. This other one's like a McLaren or is that a Ferrari? And, they, and then this is the thing. Because they can all afford them, they're trying to trick them out. So theirs looks unique. This guy is some sort of spider webs going on which is horrific to anybody who ever considered buying that car like why would you ruin that why would you do that to that fucking work of art they look dude they're they're hooking these fucking things up the way you know those kids who drive the drifters and shit you know what i mean or people drove hot rods would always have that who's that guy's the the guy used to do all the fucking artwork on those things you know what i mean and those are like cars, you know, that, that, that kids could afford it to, to, like, fix them up. These are, like, some of the richest people on the planet. They do that to Ferraris, Lamborghinis. So there's this one fucking guy. He has all of He's, like, becoming famous because he flew, like, six of his fucking cars over. And they're all, like, done in, like, this mirror gold. It's, like, the, yeah, I got to be honest with you. It's, like, the gaudiest thing I've ever seen in my life. But it's 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 fucking hilarious on on another level. Hang on. All right, so I found the guy here. This guy's not even t- trying to be famous or anything. I don't know what he's doing. It. So Saudi billionaire Turkey bin Abdullah is the man behind the fleet of incredible golden supercars currently touring wealthy parts of London. Dude, this kid, he looks like he's like fucking twenty-three. All right, these are the pictures, all right? He's got a, this looks like a Lamborghini. Uh, They're all the exact same color gold. And you know what's funny is they got pictures of them flying in their private jet and they're doing that stupid peace sign YOLO thing, right? Except they're dressed in like the traditional, you know, the the Saudi Arabian headgear that they wear. Like it's all fucking white. And then on top looks like that traditional uh, Betty Crocker tablecloth. They got that with the uh, LeBron James headband on. Right. 
love and life in this private jet. You know they didn't rent it. They probably own it, right? Then he's got another one. This looks like a fucking one of those, either a Range Rover or Mercedes-Benz truck. And this is the greatest thing. Custom interior, all gold. And in the driver's seat, there's a cheetah. (laughs) Uh, Every car is like 350 fucking grand. Hey, you know, you ever seen that truck, the six-wheel Mercedes? It's got six wheels. Oh, I got to be careful. This kid's next door. It's got fucking six wheels on it. There's no fucking reason to have this truck ever. I mean, the thing is, I mean, it's, it's incredible. The fucking thing is incredible. He's got one of those in gold. Oh, and that's where he keeps his cheetah, evidently. I'm just scrolling down. He's got a Range Rover. I mean, they are gaudy. I got I don't know. Then he does them in black. They're kind of fucking cool looking. So anyway, so there's a bunch of people that fucking can't stand it. You know, of course, I mean, you have one of those cars. Everybody's going to hate you. If you got fucking six of them and you're getting them, you know, and they look like the grill. Remember those 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 fucking grills they used to make uh, those guys in Houston when that rapper Paul Wall? I think even he, he had a line of those things. Right. Remember how fucking like just in your face gaudy that was? But that was just teeth, you know, so you had to make them laugh first, which is a really difficult thing to do with the rapper, you know what I mean? The second they smile, their album sales, they, they drop tremendously. So it's very rare that you got them to smile. So as gaudy as they were, it wasn't that bad, right? There's no, way to, there's no way to look away from these fucking cars. So anyway, so I'm walking down the street, right, in London, and I'm just looking at the, all these cars. It was like a fucking car show, man. It was amazing. So this this typical fucking you know, showy jerk off in this Lamborghini, not a gold one. And he's, he's in like stop and go traffic. And the entire time he's in stop and go traffic. He's just, he's just revving the engine. Whoa, 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 whoa. I can't do the high pitch. You know, you know, those supercars, how crazy they are. Right. And, uh, I'm trudging along in this humid air and shit with all these Londoners. Right. And this fucking lady is the guy's going, is sitting there going like, whoa, 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 doing all that stuff. Uh, she just goes, oh, stop it. <laughs> I almost fell down on the sidewalk and laughed. And that's the first time I thought, like, that's what made me research it, going like, like, I was, you know, after the 50th Ferrari went by and there wasn't a car show, I was starting to sense that there was something going on here. But I, I just thought that these were just super, I was like, wow, man, there's a lot of money in London. These guys are not fucking around. Who the fuck would live in London? You got the tube, you got all these taxis. I mean, like, it'd be like owning a Lamborghini and you live in Manhattan. You're like, why? why? That's just a disgusting level of wealth. So I was just like, man, these people are, uh, they're crushing it over here in London. But I guess it's just um, this group of people that comes over. Dude, you got to look this kid up. This kid cannot be more than like, I don't know, 23, 24. Dude, he's got a gold Rolls Royce. He's got a Bentley. I got to be honest with you. He knows his fucking cars. The six wheels Mercedes is fucking ridiculous. Um, I know a lot of people. Oh, you know, it's blood money. It's this. It's that. Yeah, you know, you're, you're right. But whatever. You know, it's fun to look at. And you know something? Just being someone who likes to go on stage and like, I like to entertain people, but it's also really fun to annoy people. And the fact that these people are coming there and they're driving around in their fucking cars. Sorry, that just slid down the pillow. Sorry. They're driving around in their fucking cars and they're annoying, you know, making that lady go, oh, stop it. It was just, it was hilarious to me. So I'll send a link to that stuff. I deliberately booked myself in a hotel. I usually stay wherever the fuck, I don't care. But this hotel actually had a cigar bar in it. And I learned that from Cigar Aficionado. They got this thing called Places to Smoke. So if you're traveling, just look it up and they will tell you the place to go. And I went there with... um, with the person who was the tour manager and it was just me and him. And we went in there. It was funny when we first came in, they had, they were like, Oh, we're sorry. We don't have any, we don't have any seats because we walked in looking like a couple of fucking rubes, you know, had my baseball hat on and shit, all sweaty from the show. We just look like two fucking assholes. And, you know, in there were all these gorgeous Arab women and all those fucking, you know, you know, that whole fucking scene was, I don't know if those chicks were from London trying to meet the guy in the golden car, but at this point, I was so caught up in the fucking soap opera. It was like watching a reality show. 
Like how that isn't a reality show is fucking beyond me. Somebody needs to make that a fucking reality show. It's literally like fast and loud without building a thing meets like the fucking real housewives meet, but they're guys, you know, I don't know, big brother or something. I want to see them talking about what it's like to be that rich. I want to see the whole fucking process of how they got those fucking cars over there. Do they give a fuck that people, you know, hate on them for having those cars? How do they deal with women coming at them? Because I don't, you've got a fucking fleet of gold cars. I don't give a shit who the fuck she is. Well, that's not true. But uh, there's a sizable amount of women that'll just blow you just so they can look at themselves sucking a dick in the fucking shine of that car. <laughs> If anybody in London ever fucking makes that show, please text me a link because I'm going to watch every fucking episode. I want to see I want to see the whole thing, the riding over in the jets, you know, the whole thing, the confiscating of the passports. So you have the slave labor that builds Dubai. I want to see the fucking I want to see the whole thing, the pain, the sorrow, the horrors, the whole fucking thing. Tremendous.